right now, Earth Vicaria, and welcome to a new adventure into the realm of Quantum Break. We are going to go on a journey. Yes, a journey through time manipulation, apparently. And, um, active consequences of the choices that I make. So, let's uh, see how this goes. Normal. I mean, I like a good challenge every now and then, but I'm going to play on normal. Quantum break. The number one killer is time. Act one. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Yeah? Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. Oh! When you first arrived at Riverport University. Okay. Okay. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. Riverport University, October 9th, 2016, 4 a.m., 15 minutes to fracture in time. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. I like the graphics a lot. This is a step up from hey. control. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. But also... Subtitles? Dialogue volume. Yes. Disable copyrighted music. Eh, actually, no. Fuck that. No. Okay, display? Subtitles. There we go. Okay. Subtitles on. Resume game. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. told me to meet him at the physics building. Paul. Academics. So I need... 11? I guess I should go find Paul. Right. That's... the idea, but I can't find 11 anywhere. That's great. <sighs> Fine. Okay, air to objects in the world to immerse yourself deeper. Previously collected narrative objects inside the game's timeline menu. Interesting. Who's you? I doubt he's out here. You better head into the campus. <laughs> Rough night, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's for, um, I, it's just whatever's done doesn't even matter anymore. I'm, um, yeah. He's had a good night. Hey, you take action now, Monarchs. Oh, Jack, I just got to the campus. Where are you? 
God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. And I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. I guess so. That's vaguely ominous. Weird. Can I run? I can run. Saving. Why are we saving? That's not cool. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Stop, Monarch. Can we go home yet? For for years, Monarch Solutions has been buying out Riverport piece by piece. Okay. Please go around. What if I don't want to? Out. Bought out all the major tech. Any questioning regarding who was truly running Monarch. Bought out major media outlets. Brought Gull Island. A oh, bought Gull Island. Demolished Riverport Central Train Station. Purchased entire industrial district dry docks. Even demolished Riverport University. Oh wow. TV. Water. What? 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 Why is there? Five years. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Why is there Alan Wake stuff in this? Well, there was in control too. Every Why not? Finds its writer. Is this a preview for Alan Wake Two or something? Alex Casey. Alex Casey. Okay, so... All of us have two faces. The one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. So that was a trailer for Alan Wake 2? Maybe? I think? I, I don't know. But that, uh, um, okay. Wasn't prepared for that. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> Hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. Sure. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. What? You know why? We've got a chart with all the details. You're not gonna- Go ahead, check out the chart. 
Mom oh. is tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're going to tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city, and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I got to meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Not exactly. Not exactly. Let me run. What's this? Protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. Okay. Onward and upward. Where am I going now? Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Prick. Dick. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell out security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Hmm. <laughs> Just walk away. Liam Burke, a monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. Oh, Jesus. What? Come on. Move along. Okay, bye. Hmm. Not exactly like modest, are we, Paul? Join the report. In his own words. Okay, so this is... Okay. That's just like a biography. What's this? Memorial art. They died on my birthday? At the age of 50? Oh no. Could be important. Might not be important. I don't know. But uh, also, why is he going to introduce the butt end of a rifle Maybe to my head? Trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. Yo. Esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Well, yeah. Wow. Stone Chrome? Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I miss that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. Incident? William Joyce. Will, what did you do this time? Joseph, I asked, and I've got confirmation from our supervisor that Dr. William Joyce's security clearance needs to be revoked. So yeah, this Yo, Paul. Time for termination. Enough space here. <laughs> Scheduled for 20 a.m. October 9th. Precisely. No idea why that exact time it must be a contract thing. The guy was consulting on a permanent prom promenade, but he lost his shit in front of the investors a few days ago. I was the one dragging him out. It got pretty crazy. He was yelling about how some lady warned him this would happen. No idea what he was, what the hell he was up. No idea what the hell he was about. If it was up to me, I'd cut his clearance immediately. But screw it, they don't want my advice. I don't want to get involved in any of Monarch stuff anyway. Let's just do our jobs. So just keep an eye out open for Dr. Joyce until then. P.S. Don't feel too bad about it. I heard this guy actually stole some video game from the break lounge or something. So maybe not somebody we want running around anyway. Haley, any idea who William Joyce is? A strange request to cut his clearance exactly at 4.20 a.m. and... Word from Liam Burke on Monarch's security division. I know they're consulting for university security, but do they have actual authority here? 
whole thing seems sketchy to me. Thoughts? Interesting. Let's go. Wait, can I get into other places? No. Can I get a cola? Sizzle! In here, Jack. Going up. Sure. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. Protests against Monarch are going strong, I see. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you didn't join in. I thought that kind of trouble was your forte. Well, it used to be our forte. You're the one that sold out. Oh, I don't know. Rich and successful isn't too bad. You should give it a try. <laughs> Maybe I will one day. Who knows? There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire Stone world. Stone Crow. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. You would... Oh, you would absolutely... Well, yeah. A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Come on. Let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. The city had changed. Paul changed. Didn't feel right being back. It was your hometown. In six years, you never felt any desire to return? There was always more keeping me away. Over here, Jack. Yep. This is what I've been working on. Sure. Give me, give me a second. I'm, a, I'm exploring. What have you been working on, my friend? Airlock door. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, Promenade. Five minutes before pressure in time. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You're is looking it? at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. Yeah. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers... All with no evidence. It works, but they're going to cut our funding if I don't prove it. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, yes. somebody's got to keep tabs on you. Paul, investors have made their decision. Based on William Joyce's concerns, they're halting all funding of the Project Promenade until an equally qualified specialist can be assigned to the project to perform further inspection. I did everything I could to sway the vote, but the only board member who voted in favor of you, your favor was Martin Hatch. We brought up William Joyce's questionable mental health, but the damage was already done. He planted the seed of doubt. Let me know how you wish to proceed. Mayor, we absolutely cannot afford to lose momentum at this Jack, point. If we put Project Promenade on. on hold, then we will lose every Cronin Cron Cron specialist on staff overnight. Monarch is paying double the wages we are. It would be an absolute nightmare. Our staff is irreplaceable, and I'm struggling to hold on to them as it is. I've known William Joyce since childhood. There's no doubt he's a genius, but he also has a history of paranoia and mental instability. He's lost sight of the big picture. His concerns regarding Project Promenade are outlandish, unfounded, and based on ludicrous conjecture. The only reason we pulled Will in as an advisor is because there are no other qualified specialists available who the investors will trust to sign off on the project now that Dr. Kim is gone. We can't wait. We can't just wait for the board to find a suitable replacement because there are none. Kim approved these figures long before his death. I refuse to let Will sabotage 
everything we're building here. I need you to keep investors distracted, buy me time before the final decision is reached. I'll find a way to gather the proof we need in order to proceed to the beta testing. Give me 48 hours, I'll make this right. Okay. Just look at this. Back. You know, asking for help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. I saw. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did. Uh. I love my older brother. I'm not a scientist. It's easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Okay. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Oh, wow. Okay. What's this? Okay, Jack, it's been too long. You ever coming home to visit Ocean Sewage Musk? From Paul. In coastal Detroit of America, everybody's thrilled. What's the latest? Where are you? I'm guessing you're squatting in some Buddhist temple, making feng shui bracelets and brushing up on your big rum. Cultural ignorance intentions to aggravate you. The day that I get a call that you need me to bust you out of some shady Thai prison. I've got a fund on standby for your inevitable fuck-ups in the law. By the way, this is going to come as a shock. Remember that big project I told you about? I'm heading to university. Okay. Money bags. Ha! <laughs> Never getting my way through Vietnam. Heading back to Thailand in the near future. I hope we're keeping everyone stacked. How's the high life? Saw the article you recently. Top 30 entrepreneurs are under 30 or something. Okay. Clearly, I'm not the expert on dealing with my brother. There's a reason we haven't talked in six years. The best advice I can give you is this. Lose the watch. Oh, wow. Yes, don't worry. I'll stop wearing the watch when you stop stealing fugly ram statuettes for souvenirs from police stations. <laughs> you already let that one go, will you? The photo is my phone background. Your noble protest still provides me with inspiration. <laughs> it's borderline creepy. Best of luck finishing up the project. Talk soon. You know I'm the last person to ever ask for a favor, but I desperately need your help, man. Everything built up here. Are you right now? These are friends. Not once have you ever asked for help. This must be bad. You okay? What kind of trouble are you in? Of course I'm in. Currently in Bangkok, but I can find a way to Riverport as soon as possible. We'll wait by a computer for further details. But Bangkok. Last taxi will be waiting for you. Just saved my life. Put my things into the airport. Whatever this is about, make sure Will doesn't know I'm coming home. Okay. Cool. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Hard. A better question might be when does it lead? When? Well, that's deep. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes. Years ahead of our time. Apparently. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Okay. Activating core. This is sound reasoning. This is this is this is the this is the smart idea. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. I didn't know I had to hold what W. That's my fault. Uh oh. Just the chronon conduit initiating. Okay. I hope you're right. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Stable. Oh. The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. Uh, what? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Okay. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. Waiting on you. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Are we? 
Are we really doing this? What's what are we doing? What's going on, buddy? Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. Okay, okay. Um Sure. Friend that I trust for over two decades. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? Excuse Looks me. Like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Bruh. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? Bruh. In the machine. Bruh. Bruh. No. What are you doing? It's a fucking time machine. You built a I'm fucking great. time machine? And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every are you... test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. Are you sure? All you have to do is hit that switch. Uh... Two minutes oh. to the past. Okay. Remember this moment. Oh. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. Yeah. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they Here. happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. Yeah. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Yeah, paradox. Wait, Paul, if you don't. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. Yeah, because otherwise there would be a paradox. You saw it, Jack. Yeah. We did it. It's fucking freaky. That's impossible. That's that's Bruh. literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. Sure. Sure. Uh oh. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. What? Well, you have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him. Shut up. Hold, hold, on. The core. Hold, hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Well, shut up. Look shut at me. up. Look at me. Put the gun down and we can talk. Okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. They got some Jesus good actors Christ. for this. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. Or what? Boom. No, I gotta let you out. Oh, too late. Ow! Ow, that's painful. Yeah, I'd say that's an error. Uh, yeah. 
don't know how you're alive. But I guess I'm gonna find out. Oh. You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. You got... Um... Um... I could hear Will's words in my head. Fracture in time. Time is going to end. I am... I am fucking everything up just by walking near shit. He broke. Oh, oh my god. I would be terrified. Is this really happening? Apparently. Apparently, you, yeah, we're done, done fucked up, is what we did. What the hell? This is crazy. Well. 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 Oh shit. Jack. Hey, Will. Okay. What have we done? Zero state. She warned me. I knew she was right. All this time. I warned Paul. This could all have been avoided. We're too late. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get Paul out of the time machine, but right now, I'm gonna call it there, because it's been about 30 minutes, and I'm hooked. I hope you are too. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. And always remember, never give up, never surrender! I'm coming, hang on!